So this is going to be Penny's starting point with trailer loading. So this is an older video, obviously it's her starting point, um, where I used to do a lot of different training using a lot of negative reinforcement, but I wanted to show where she starts from. And then after this video, it's going to be her journey with trailer loading using positive reinforcement. But for right now, I'm just going to kind of critique and voice over this lesson. So you can see she's already looking away. She doesn't really want to go in there. Um, and this is better than other things that I've done in the past. Like I was starting to, you know, go toward the way of positive reinforcement, but this is not something that I would do now. So you can tell by her body language, like she's just not really having anything of it. I mean, it's, this isn't too bad because obviously I could have just forced her to go in there and like, you know, done, put way more pressure on her and done other things. But um, at this time, um, I could see and tell that she was worried about going into the trailer and she wants to just come back here to her pasture. She's looking to the side. She's like, I'd like to go over there because I feel safe. At the time, I was like, okay, well, you don't want to go here. So I'm going to take you out to where you want to be and make you work. But she looks off here the whole time. Like she looks like she's trotting off. Um, and the problem with this, which I do see this quite a bit now is you're not helping the horse get through their fears. You're making it um, just like a, not a great time when you're around. So there's still that pressure. So it's just like the horse might avoid you completely. Um, when, when you come, they might not want to be caught. They, you know, they might just be resistant to, to doing stuff. Like here, she's just going and going and going. Like there is no learning happening here. It's just chasing and pressure. Um, and and get, making her do something in a different location just so that when I take her back to the trailer There's less pressure. So it's like oh well I'd rather do this than be chased around in my paddock pretty much But what she's telling me when she's at the trailer and she's looking away is that she's afraid of going in the trailer Yes, she'd like to go back to somewhere where she feels safe like her pasture But that shouldn't be a, an excuse to like punish her and put all this pressure on her. It's, she's just telling me she's not comfortable with going in the trailer. And that's completely fine. And when you watch the first session I do with her, um, with positive reinforcement, you'll see a much better way to handle that. Because now, like, with her lunging, I'm just trying to have her go forward, have her go back and forth, um, and just do a lot of work in here. But it's like, what are we teaching her right here? What am I teaching her right here that's positive? nothing she's going around inverted she's kind of off on this left circle she he, she's looking to the outside she's not balanced she's rushing she's afraid of me um she's like pushing through the halter rope like none of this is good stuff this is like nothing positive is happening here is it better than when i was working with winslow probably because i have toned down the pressure that i use like there's still quite a bit of pressure but again that depends on the horse this horse penny is an off the track thoroughbred um i was going to do the thoroughbred makeover with her and then ended up not doing it um she's very sensitive she had a lot of issues going on so she is completely like night and day versus winslow like winslow was pretty chill horse just kind of on his own um, Penny is not. She's very spooky. She was very worried. Um, so yeah, completely different. But I just wanted to kind of touch on this and this um, training idea, I guess, that I still see quite frequently is like make the right thing easy and the wrong thing hard. And I think it just gets taken out of context sometimes because if I would have looked at the root of this, it's like she's just afraid of the trailer. Like let's just build her confidence with that instead of punish her where she feels safe. So like I brought her back over here. So I'm letting her rest here. Clearly she's still worried. So she's going to look and she's going to use the bathroom. Those are examples of her being worried. Like, like we see a horse going to the show ring and they use the restroom. Like that is a horse that's scared. Um, usually that happens and if they need to flee, like that's when that happens. So um, she's still looking back like it, that whole lunging thing, chasing her around did absolutely nothing for her when she came back over here. Probably just made her dislike me more and associate me with pressure. That's all it did. You see, she's still looking. She still would like to be somewhere else. Will she comply with, with me, with what I'm asking her to do? Yeah. She knows she's caught. She knows she's in a halter. I pulled her head back to the trailer. Like, you know, she's been handled since she was a baby. So, you know, 
a lot of these horses will just comply. And she's trying here, and I'm and I'm also like starting to learn about positive reinforcement at this time, so I'm kind of making my transition that way. So um, at least some of these times when she's trying to get into the trailer, I am re reinforcing her with positive reinforcement. Um, so like there, she's kind of she's trying there. Yeah, there. So I click when she's her foot is up. She's trying for me here. Really, I could have just started there. I didn't need to do all the chasing um, stuff. That's just not good for them mentally or physically. So good. Re reinforce that. Well, she's kind of got that cannon bone up, and she's thinking about just kind of coming in here. So this is a lot better than, you know, things I've done in the past. Um, you know, with Winslow's trailer loading, that wasn't too bad. I definitely could improve on it, but it's not nearly as bad as some things that I've seen a lot of pulling and chasing and whipping. Um, still not good, but yeah so there she's kind of so i'm gonna kind of wait and see if she can kind of go past this pawing and kind of you know put her foot on the trailer still 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 nervous here she's still looking out and really like if she wants to look out like now i'd be like you can go walk out like i'm not gonna make her stay over there so that's a really important thing i don't want to make her i want her I'll, i want to allow her to go over there i want the trailer to be associated with positive things not pressure and you can either get in the trailer or I'm going to put a bunch of pressure on you in the form of whipping or chasing or pulling on the halter. It's all the same. It's still pressure and you getting a release in the trailer, but there's still going to be pressure associated and around that trailer. So like I was talking about with Winslow's videos, it's it, it can be a vicious cycle where the horse doesn't want to go in the trailer, so it's already got like a negative connotation in their mind. They're always like, they're already like, that's kind of scary. I don't want to do it. And then when we bring them over and we pull on the halter rope or we chase them, we're putting more pressure on them and then making it more negative. So then, you know, we might get more negative, more pressure stuff on the outside and then less on the inside. And then that's how you kind of get them to go in. But it's still not a place that they would prefer to be. So, um, this is definitely a place they would like to avoid. So, and some horses are going to show it more than others. Um, some will just, you know, rear up or pull away or just completely stop on the way to the trailer. Um, Penny doesn't do that. She's been loaded. She's been hauled. She was a racehorse. She raced quite a bit. I don't know what situation that was. I don't know how they got her on the trailer. So she comes with some baggage. I don't know what it is. And that's kind of the reality of horses. You're not going to know. And it doesn't really matter. So. She's trying here. That was better. She actually kind of lifted that foot up. I could have clicked to reinforce that because that was less of a paw and more of a kind of a foot lift. Again, she's looking back to her pasture. She'd like to leave. And instead of noticing that and honoring that, I'm just pulling her forward and saying, nope, let's focus over here. So basically I'm showing her like, it doesn't matter. Like I'm going to, you have no say in this. You're going to go in. And that really can break the trust with the horses. So I might fast forward through some parts because this is quite a long video. I just want to kind of get to the gist of things and overview of it so that we can move on to the actual training with positive reinforcement. So I might uh, cruise through some of this. Okay, so backing them out is, is good so they can kind of get a breather. But I think all I was trying to do here is kind of get, she's not obviously running, but get a little bit of a start so that she'll kind of have momentum to go in. Um, cause she's just, she's stuck here. She's like, nope, don't want to have my feet in here. Don't want to do anything. And so then I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm like, I want more, but she's not giving it to me. So I'm just going to hold on to that halter rope and kind of pull her side to side until I get that more momentum. Cause she was all, all she was willing to give me in that beginning part was that kind of hoof lift. And I definitely didn't reward her enough for that. And she doesn't understand like that she's going to earn anything from it because there is quite a bit of pressure there. You can see that eye rolling back and looking out um, ears back a little bit. Like she's not having a good time. Like she's just, she's just frozen here. She's just stopped. She's not going in. So this is a pretty good um, example of a horse that's just, she's not going forward. You can see this on trail rides. You see this when horses don't want to go in somewhere or to somewhere or over something. So good, good example of this, but, um, using negative reinforcement, I'm like, well, I put the pressure on, so now I have to wait until she comes off of it. So this is way too much pressure, obviously. Um, and she's not having any of it. So trying the old trick of like pulling them off balance, like she's still looking back, like she's still like, nope, nope, her, her head is back. So she eventually comes forward, but way too much pressure. Like, again, she's just gonna 
Um, she's just going to associate the trailer with things that are not fun. So the halter rope was not working out for her, which that like that worked for Winslow. It doesn't work for everybody because obviously for Penny, she just stands there. She ignores it and she's like, whatever. There. She actually tried that time and was like, okay, I'm going to go in. So I clicked and rewarded that, but I did whip out my driving whip. So that does motivate other types of horses that are probably going to motivate her a little bit more. Um, but like what you saw with Winslow, if you watch that video with my critique of his trailer loading, um, he would load with just the halter rope, but it does not work for all horses. So I fast forward through about 10 ish or so minutes of me doing the same thing here. And now she's actually picking up her foot to go into the trailer. So I definitely need to click and reinforce this. Um, you know, I would, you're going to see the whole process of the positive reinforcement so then you can see how I would do it now. I definitely wouldn't be adding in the whip and the rope though, but she is kind of at this point during with the with training stuff that I'm using, like I'm just kind of wearing her down is how I'm getting her in there. So, and I don't remember what reinforcer I'm using, like if I'm using hay pellets or if I'm using grain, I really don't remember because this video is pretty old. Um, it's like four or five years old now, but um, I want to say that I was using grain, but I really don't know. So I wouldn't necessarily use that with every horse, obviously, because a lot of horses get overexcited about grain, but I would use something that she definitely values, like a pretty high value reinforcer. Um, but you're going to have to shape this. Like day one with her is not her going into the trailer probably unless she's offering it it's going to be her just going up to the back of it and not stopping and showing like signs of worry but i want to have enough reinforcer that it's worth it for her to kind of counter condition all of this stuff that i'm doing to her right now and i'm actually kind of surprised like she left that foot up there i thought she would just pull it back down right away So I'm still asking with the lead rope and she's offering that front foot and lifting it up. She's really lifting it high. Like she's not, she really doesn't want to put it in the trailer here. You can see she's just kind of holding it and kind of halfway pawing. Um, but I am going to reinforce that so that that is a good choice there. But you can just kind of tell how resistant and reluctant she is to go into the trailer. Um, another part here that is good, um, I do like to take them away, give them a mental break. And just let her walk and go do something else for a minute versus like drilling the trailer um, and really like this video is quite long that's why I've kind of cut it up um, I would never do like I think this video is 35 minutes long I would never do a 35 minute session that long with one of mine they go in there for maybe five ten minutes so um, just I don't want to put a bunch of pressure on them I want it to be fun and if they're liking it and they're doing it well like they're gonna do whatever like add however much time I want them to stand there or let me to the dryer or whatever I'm working on pretty quickly and then we can move on to something else. So I've sped it forward um, another five, seven minutes here. Um, and she's starting to like investigate the trailer a little bit more with her nose here. Um, so that's good. She's kind of bringing her hind feet a little bit closer to the trailer. And then, well, she backs them out a little bit, but um, she's responding there to the rope pressure and kind of pawing. So that's that's good. She's kind of testing it out. She's trying a little bit more here. So, I mean, it, she's still definitely worried. Like you can still see that head turn, look away. Like she's, that's going to be a tiny little sign. Most people are going to miss. And she's like not comfortable with doing this. And that head turn, like people miss that all the time. It doesn't have to be this big body language. It could just be that. And then she eventually goes ahead and actually steps in there, which I was kind of shocked with because I thought she was just going to paw and then she hadn't done anything with that right front. So um, as soon as she steps in, I'm going to, I'm clicking and treating her and then I'm giving her a jackpot. So it took quite a bit of time to get to this point, really. Like after this session, she, I, wanna, I don't know how long, like a time span it is, but then I went over and just restarted it with positive reinforcement. So you'll see that next, but. Um, she like in, in the trailer, she looks okay. Like she's still kind of looking, um, cause you know, horses are, it's not natural for them to be in small and close spaces where they can't see well. So she's kind of looking out, but she doesn't look, um, super worried about it. Still some head turning, but that could just be looking since, um, she can look out that window. Yeah. She's turning her head there. So still a little bit of worry there. Um, 
So we really need to go back and rebuild her confidence with the trailer and make it a more positive place to be. So, and we're also not going to start with the idea of her getting halfway in. Like we don't, I don't need that. Um, if she does that, that's great, but that's not something, that's not a starting point that we need for her specifically. She backs out really nicely there. Um, and I'm going to call it a day.